What's going on guys, ZTA Prime back here again. It has been a long time since I messed around with Recall Box on my Raspberry Pi 3 or the Odroid XU4 or the C2. It's also available for PC. But today I actually installed it on a whim, just wanted to check out some new features and I was actually blown away. The new UI is beautiful in Recall Box and it's working better than ever. So I've done a lot of videos on this in the past, how to install it. It's just like RetroPie, you're just gonna flash it to your SD card, go ahead, throw it in your Pi, boot it up, add some games, you're ready to play. Really simple to do. Now they have added this new vertical theme. Looks really awesome. I do really dig this style. But when I press start here, we have a whole new UI. I think it looks amazing. Lots of changes in here, lots of improvements with Recall Box, and I wanted to just kind of make this quick video to show you guys that Recall Box is changing. Now, RetroPie definitely has more customization, more features, more cores than Recall Box, but if you're wanting to get in and play some old school games, you can definitely do it with Recall Box very easily. I added my own games here. So I got my box art, I already had this all set up. But when I went to add my PC Engine games, I had to scrape them in here and I really love this scraper. It gives you that screenshot plus a marquee and the box itself. I think it looks really good. There are a lot of new features in here. So as you can see, PC Engine, also have Mega Drive and we have the family computer. I'm gonna press start here. I'm gonna scroll down to UI settings and I'm gonna go to theme configuration. So you can set the color. There's a theme color set here. You can change it to up to six different colors. Theme icon set. Right now it's set on standard icons, but I'm gonna go to PlayStation 1 icons. Theme menu, got some changes in here. Theme system view, theme game list view. And we can also set the theme region. So there's Japanese, there's US and European. I'm in the US, so I'm gonna go ahead and set this to US. I've also changed the theme icon set to PSX, just to show you here. Click close. It's gonna initialize all those changes. And when we scroll through here, we've now changed Mega Drive to Sega Genesis, the family computer system to Nintendo Entertainment System, PC Engine to TurboGrafx-16. So I think that's a cool little feature. It's just a real quick way to change your region. I've also changed the icon set. If you look at the very bottom in the left-hand corner, this is the PlayStation 1 icon set. They do offer a few other ones. As for performance, this is pretty much the same as RetroPie. It's running Emulation Station with RetroArch as the back end for your cores. So there's really not going to be much of a change there. There might be different optimizations built into RetroPie that work better. There might be different optimizations built into Recallbox that work a little better. Now this isn't a comparison video, but I really do like the new look of Recallbox and I'm going to be testing out this weekend. There's a lot of other useful settings in here. We can start Kodi Media Center right here from the main menu. System settings gives you our disk usage. I'm running a 32 gigabyte micro SD card. Storage is set to internal. If you have an external USB drive, you can set this. I'm gonna go back to internal, have language set, English, Spanish, French, Italian, Portuguese. I mean, there's plenty in here to choose from. Updates. It should check for updates when you boot up and it can automatically download them for you. Game settings, game ratio, custom, square pixel, one to one, 1610, 1615, lots of different settings. The best way to experience all this and test it out is to install it on your Raspberry Pi 3 and see how you like it. You can turn smooth games off. There's a rewind feature, lots of great stuff. UI settings, sound settings. Out of the box, it does have front end music. You can turn it off like I did here. You can also add your own music. Got a nice scraper built in. We can scrape from the screen scraper, the games DB or MAME DB. I scrape from the screen scraper and I got those screenshots with the box art and the marquee. I think it looks really good. And finally, advanced settings. You can easily overclock your Raspberry Pi 3 from here. As you can see, I'm set to extreme, 1375 megahertz, 1350, or 1300. You can go to stock too. I'm at 1375. Boot settings. You can boot right into Kodi, game list only, boot on system. I mean, there's a lot of great stuff in here. Advanced emulator configuration. 
Let's just say I wanted to use a different core for Nintendo 64. I can change it right here. Go back to default. Got Cody settings, security, overscan. We can show our frame rate on screen right now. Recall box manager. Now this is pretty cool. If you get your IP address and just open up a Chrome browser, you can access their recall box manager, which is kind of a UI for adding games and BIOSes. I like the look of it. I'll do a video on it this weekend because I'm going to be diving a little deeper into recall box. But that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you that there's hope for recall box. I think this looks better than retro pie right now. It is limited on theme selection and things like that, but it works great. And I think it looks good just like this. If you're interested in downloading recall box, I'll leave a link in the description. It is available for the Raspberry Pi 2, the Raspberry Pi 3, the Odroid XU4, the Odroid C2, 32-bit PCs, and 64-bit PCs. Lots of great new features here, and everything just works straight out of the box. I love the look of it, and I'll be making some more videos on this. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more great content. Like always, thanks for watching.